So, how you doing guys? TS Costle here, back with another video. So today we are just doing a whole rundown of our Titanfall pilots, um, where we got everything, why we chose to choose, why we chose to put on what we put on, our costumes. Um, so what we're gonna do is for stuff like lower body crap, I'll actually throw over some of the, some B-roll so you can actually see what we're talking about. But anyway, we'll start from head to toe. Um, I think we'll start with pretty actually. Um, so for me, this is, uh, I just started with the schmog um, in, the, in the game. Pretty much, I think every character actually has one of these. Mm -hmm. um, just a simple schmog going with whatever color uh, flowed best with the camo gear I was going with. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, vest is from Evike. Um, super easy to find. You just look up Matrix uh, armor and it should pop up. There are two different variants. The one that I have and then obviously the one that Taylor has. Um, they do both come in multi-cam and black. Uh, it did come with these mag pouches. Um, after that, I do have this uh, high-speed gear gun belt um, and then woven through it is just an old, almost like a Vietnam era style uh, duty belt. Um, best way to call it, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, nylon belt. Um, super durable, super strong. I am gonna be throwing more pouches on this to kind of fill the costume up a little bit, give mm -hmm. it more depth. Um, then as far as like the pants go, um, I got their Emerson Tactical. Um, they're actually just really nice, super breathable pants. Uh, great for uh, cosplaying, because I think that in all of the pants and the gear we wear, we never are able to uh, breathe in them yeah. because it's always so hot. Yeah. But <laughs> super nice. They do come with the rubber uh, knee pads. Super nice. And then as far as the shoes go, I'm wearing, all, they're called Ultimas. I believe the brand is original SWAT, but Ultima is like, it's like a side brand. But they were designed for uh, Navy SEALs and stuff like that, uh, themed after like Chuck Taylor's Converse. When we, when we start to catch up, when we do the close up, you'll see that there's little holes on the outside of them and inside of them. What are those for? Those are for draining water. Um, they were, like I said, they were designed for seals, so they have a rubber sole inside, and so if they get filled with water, it just drains right out the side. They're great shoes. I've worn them boating. I wore them for daily wear. They're, they're just super nice shoes, comfortable, comfortable um, to wear. And then what about gloves? Gloves are um, first tactical. The company that owns 511 Tactical makes these. Um, they broke off and started basically like a, sec a separate company and like sold 511 to some other people or whatever. But they're great gloves, they're nice. They have the hex pattern on them, as you can see. Um, they're actually really nice. Get a little bit closer. There you go. There's that hex pattern, they're super nice. Um, they do have the knuckles in them, but what's nice about these is the knuckles aren't one solid piece. They're actual individual pieces, so they move with your hand, and it makes them super comfortable. And then, you talked about the schmog already? I talked about the schmog, yep. And then, G2? Yep. G2, oh. your helmet or your G2? So the helmet I did get from the same person that Taylor got his helmet from. Um, super nice, very durable, lights light up, super easy switching, just right there at the front. Um, pretty simple, pretty easy. The lights in there have been nice. The padding's phenomenal, super insanely comfortable. The visibility, I'd call it 50% visibility, um, just with there's multi-layered lenses, mm -hmm. and so it cuts down your visibility. Um, but other than that, super nice. I think it just runs off of uh, triple A's, but super nice, durable, um, great weathering detail on it, um, as you guys can see, but yeah. All right, um, and then for my G2 is the rifle I decided to go with. This is just an Airsoft Spring G2. But it's not a G2. But it's not a G2, it's you're right. A G2. It's the, the G2 is actually themed after the M14, or the EBR, however you want to look at it, um, rifle, and so that's why I went with it. I decided to go through Evike. I think this thing cost me like 50 bucks. Um, came in the color I want. Basically, it came with everything I needed. Uh, the only difference I did throw on there was this sight, and that is a Lancer tactical um, holographic um, sight that I just wanted to roll with. It just gave it more of that look from the game, but. Um, and then I did shorten the barrel because it went out a lot further than what the G2 does in the game. So I just hacked that right off. Um, but that's, I decided to go with this because uh, durable. Mm. I decided to go with this though because it was just, it's more durable. Um, still gives me the exact same look I'm going for. More durable and mm. strong and uh, 
just just more solid and I thought it gave it more of an aggressive look mm -hmm. and the weight to it is feels nice when you have the right weight it makes it easier to uh, use it for okay. photos and stuff like that yeah it, it, it feel it feels really really good like compared to mine obviously like we'll get into mine but it feels really really good but yeah that's all my stuff head to toe um, pretty happy with how my costume is so far like I said there are some improvements I need to get some shoulder armor and more pouches on my lower belt. But other than that, it turned out exactly how I was hoping it would. And I'm super happy with all the products I went with. So, what I'm rocking just from head to toe, let's actually start with my helmet first. So if you want the nitty gritty details about my helmet and on my helmet, I will link my unboxing down below because I think it's like a five, 10 minute something video, long video about everything that comes with this, with, with that go went into making this, went into choosing this, but the quick version is, this thing's powered by two 9-volt batteries. Um, I have multicolor changing. Uh, it's pretty much same as Brady's. The layering on the visor, padding is absolutely amazing. Visibility for me is, I'd say about 45 to 50% just because um, my visor is a little smaller. And with all the padding, the extra padding stuff that went into that because of the 9-volt batteries, it fogs up really quick. At first, when I first bought it, it didn't fog up that much, but when we were finally out walking around, moving around, it was it was fogging up. But yeah, same shop. I will link the shop. I will link the shop. Everything that we're wearing that we can find where it came from, unless we bought it locally, even locally, I'll link down everything down below. So coming down to my Shemog, this is just a gray Shemog I bought from an army surplus store here in Utah. My vest is a matrix. Cobra? I can't remember like the exact name of it. But if you go to eBike, look up Matrix Armor, you'll find it. I've used this thing for plenty of different stuff, tons of different stuff. Not planning on stopping because it was, it's about $80. Yeah, I think um, that was about 80 bucks. Yeah, they're about $80 and I'm not trying to spend $80 per different costume I'm doing just for the same thing. So I'll usually tape it off and repaint it. Um, but it, it gets the job done. I chose this. I chose my look just because it was within my budget. A lot of it was just in my closet. And I want, like, with our costumes, we could go out, run out. We could play a game of airsoft. We could do our wall running shoots that we did, bump into stuff, fall down. None of that stuff is going to break. So that's why I picked, you know, rocking the gear that I'm wearing. Um, but down lower, around my waist, right now I'm wearing a shotgun shell bandolier. Just because it has more pouches, just looks more pouchy. Like, I don't know if you... You can see it anyway, you'll get some B-roll of it. Um, my, the camo I'm wearing is black multicam. It's by Emerson Tactical or Emerson Gear. Yep. Emerson Gear, same as Brady's. Um, it's just, it's, it's, it, I've always wanted a top like this. I also have a set of regular multicam like Brady's, but it's perfect. Like this, it's, you know, you can tighten the wrists up however you want. You can have them loose and roll them up just like Brady's. Um, the shoulder pads are just um, knee pads. I picked this look too because like I wanted to do kind of like a mix between a pulse blade and Cooper. Um, so Cooper all, like has knee pads as a shoulder pad, so that's why I was rocking that. The pants are exactly the same as Brady's Emerson gear. Um, what I do like about them, and we'll show them here when we pop up the video, um, that you can actually tighten above the knee and at the ankle, so it's a lot more secure. Um, and then I can't remember oh and so they have the knee pads are just basically woven into the pants sorry it's a little, it's a little hot in here mine's kind of going a little a little fuzzy but they're basically integrated knee pads and gone are the days of having to worry about pulling up knee pads every yep. five seconds when you're rocking them always wanted a pair of pants like these finally got them um and i can't remember the name of the boots that i'm wearing um they're like first responder somethings i bought them at if you guys have a big five wherever you are i bought them at big five for like this is in like winter last winter i bought them for like 45 bucks yeah wasn't that they, they have good pricing there um and then so also what else i'll wear on my on my waist right now under the bandolier belt i'm wearing a 511 gun belt that i got from the local like outdoorsman shop here in utah but Sometimes I will wear my giant, thick condor um, battle belt. Duty belt. Duty, be I it. duty belt. Duty belt. That's the same thing I have, but in the multicam. Yeah. 
Um, I love this thing. I, ha I used to rock just a smaller gun belt when, like, when I first started cosplaying. And when I got this thing, it's I never ever going back. I do want to get one like Brady's, but in black. I just got a text. Um, it, but in black. Uh, but this thing has never let me down. It's, this bad boy's never done me no, 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 no wrong. So also sometimes I'll rock like in in our shoot. I'll rock my I can't remember the name. I don't think the name. I got this off of Amazon. Um, and it's originally for my ghost, but more pouches, more tactical. You know how it goes. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so this is like a no-name brand, but it's it's absolutely great. I freaking love it. I'm gonna use it for more stuff. Um, not gonna disclose what the ideas are right now because I don't even know if I'll do them. But anyway, and then this drop leg, this thigh molly rig thingy. Brady actually bought this forever ago, left it here, and it's kind of just been floating around ever since. Don't know the the name of the brand. I think that's a Condor. Condor? Yep. Um, these things are, I think, a must for Titanfall cosplays. Like, just drop, like, anything. They, the, it, I think these are these are amazing. Um, but, yeah, those are the two what I'll wear, wear on my lower body. Um, and then for my, 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 my weapon, obviously, I have a G2. It's inside right now. As I was setting everything up, we started filming. I completely forgot that I didn't bring it out. But if you want to see a more another in-depth video on that, link will be down below. Us um, painting it, masking it off, all that stuff. It was a big pain in the butt. But I chose the G2 because just towards putting these together, I was actually using the G2 a lot more in the game. And I just really, I fell in love with it. I originally was going to go with an R201 or a 301 in Apex. But I kind of fell out of love with it. I just, it was going to be painted like mine in Apex. And I just didn't, you know, like... I didn't love it after, you know, running the G2. But anyway, if you do want to see in-depth videos on our helmets, like how they work, you know, why we, whatever, um, let me know in the comments below. Hit me up on Instagram. I'm um, sorry this is like breakneck speed, but it's really hot in these. But anyway, guys, that'll do it for this video. If there's anything else you want to see, let me know in the comments below. Check me out on Instagram, TS Cosplay. Check him out on Instagram, Brady Moose Valdez, if you're into trucks and stuff like that. His Instagram for his truck stuff is at. Do you not remember your own? Oh name? my gosh! <laughs> oh. Be, at B Pearl underscore Z seventy one. You oh. put me on the spot. Yeah. Oh, that's what happens. That is the vehicle where we truck around, do all our trek, truck, truck, trek around, do all our adventures and whatnot with cosplay and everything else. But yeah, that'll do it. I'll see you guys in the next one.